Hi, and welcome to another edition of Your Health with Dr. Christy. My name is Dr. Christy Reisinger, and today we're going to talk about current medications that you're taking that may be contributing to weight gain. Let me start first by saying that medications affect every person differently. So these are just trends. Some medications have more of a trend to cause weight gain than others in the same class. And secondly, please don't start or stop medications before speaking with your own doctor. Some medications simply cannot be swapped out for others, even in the same class. I just recently passed my obesity board exam and I'm trying to incorporate treatment of obesity into my practice. One of the first things I do when I meet someone who has come to talk with me about their weight is to look over their medications to see if there are any that could be contributing to weight gain and if there's an opportunity to switch them to another medication in the same class that has not been shown to have an effect on weight. Let's go through this chart that I made and you can see if you're taking any of these medications. If you are and have noticed weight gain since starting the medication, it may be worth talking about potentially switching it with your doctor. The first class of medications are those for depression. Most commonly, SSRIs and SNRIs are prescribed. Fluoxetine or Prozac, Sertraline or Zoloft, Desvenlafaxine or Pristique, Duloxetine, also known as Cymbalta, Bupropion, also known as Welbutrin, and Esotalopram or Lexapro have all been shown to at least have a neutral effect on weight. And one medication, Bupropion, has been shown to help patients actually lose weight. But a word of caution is that this medication is not approved for use with anxiety and can actually make anxiety worse. In the class of tricyclic antidepressants, nortriptyline is a better choice than amitriptyline for a multitude of reasons. So I usually try to use that medication. I don't often prescribe mood stabilizers or antipsychotics, and I know that psychiatrists try to be very mindful of placing patients on medications that will not contribute to weight gain. But if patients have to be placed on a medication that I know will cause weight gain, then I'm sure that the patient is aware of this risk, and then I offer the option of adding a medication called metformin, since it's been shown to help reduce the risk of weight gain from antipsychotic medications. I do often treat patients for pain, and I was disappointed to see that gabapentin and pregabalin or Lyrica can contribute to weight gain. It's made me more likely to counsel patients to use topical pain medications if possible. And the treatment for diabetes has changed so much in the past few years. Viewers, if you are taking a medication for your diabetes in the class called sulfonylureas, I strongly, strongly encourage you to switch to one of the newer medications called GLP-1s or SGLT-2s. Sulfonylureas include medications like glipizide, gliburide, and glimepiride. There really is no reason why anyone should still be on these medications to treat diabetes unless there's an extenuating circumstance. I would even speak so strongly as to say that if your doctor is reluctant to switch you to a newer diabetes medication, I would consider switching doctors. The sulfonylureas are outdated medications with lots of side effects like weight gain. There are much better options now. And lastly, I treat a lot of hypertension as well. I really try to stick with medications that don't cause weight gain. There are lots of options to try, including ACE inhibitors, angiotensin receptor blockers, calcium channel blockers, and thiazide diuretics. But at the end of the day, there are very specific reasons why someone should be on a beta blocker. And if that is needed, then these two medications are the ones that I try to use. If you're not sure what class your medication is in, type in the name and put class after it into Google and it will tell you. If you're taking a medication that may be contributing to weight gain, talk with your doctor. There may be another option for you. Thanks for joining me.